This is example one from lesson R.3. In example one, we are adding and subtracting polynomials. First thing you want to do is look for like terms. Now, like terms means that the terms have the same variable and those variables have the same exponent on them. So in example one, we can see that there are seven t to the fifths here and there are two more back here. Now, when you find that you have like terms, all you have to do is combine the coefficients. In this case, we're actually adding those together. So I'm going to add seven plus two, and this is going to give me nine of those t to the fifth powers. Now notice I'm not going to change the exponent. That's because I'm not multiplying anything. I'm just adding. Okay. Next thing I'm looking for is uh, my next term is a 3t squared, and it is negative. And I'm looking back here, and I have a 3t squared, which is positive. And so when I add negative 3 plus a positive 3, that's going to give me 0. So these are actually going to cancel one another out. Now, you can put your 0 placeholder in here, but you certainly don't have to. And most of the answer keys that you see at the back of the book will not have those zeros in place. All right, in our polynomial at the front here, my next term is a negative 2t. And I look back here in the parentheses, I have a negative 5t. And so I'm going to add negative 2 plus negative 5. That's going to give me negative 7 of those t's. And then we notice that we have this little guy right here left over, the negative 4. There was nothing up here to combine with, so it's the same thing as adding it to 0. So 0 plus negative 4 is negative 4. And so the answer to A is right here, 9t to the fifth minus 7t minus 4. Moving on to example B, now we're subtracting polynomials. And I think the best thing you can do when you have a situation where you're subtracting is go ahead and distribute this negative 1, it's a negative sign, into the parentheses back here. Now what that's going to do is, it's going to change this sign on the 0.05 and make it a negative. It's going to change the sign right here on the 0.07 and make it a positive. And it's going to change the sign on the 0.02 and make it into a negative. And now we have just another addition problem like we had in part A. So I have 0.08 and I have an x to the third and a y and it's like term is going to be right here, the negative 0.05, because it also has an x to the third and a y. And we're adding these, so 0 0.08 plus negative 0 0.05 is going to give me 0 0.03. And then my variables will stay the same. I have an x to the third, and I have a y. My next term here is a negative 0.02, it is an x squared y. And back here, I have one of those, it's a 0.07 x squared y, and it's positive. So I'm adding negative 0.02 plus positive 0.07 x squared y. Well, that's going to give me a positive 0.05. And then the variables will be x squared and y, they won't change. And then my third term is negative 0.1xy. And down here, its like term is right here, which is negative 0.02xy. So I have negative 0.1 plus negative 0.2. That's going to give me negative 0.12xy. And that will be my final answer for B.